You've been told that 80% of olive oil is fake and cut with vegetable oils, but this isn't true. The UC Davis Olive Center was formed to promote California olive oil and released a report in 2010 funded by the California olive oil industry. The report claimed that 69% of imported extra virgin olive oils and 10% of California olive oil samples didn't pass their taste test. When physical and chemical tests were conducted by UC Davis on these same oils, they did not find one instance of adulteration. However, this information was buried in the paper and not reported by the media, which started saying most olive oil is fake. In 2016, a Forbes reporter made the claim that 80% of olive oil is fake into a national headline. Forbes didn't even cite the original source and said it's reliably reported that 80% of Italian olive oil on the market is fraudulent. Because of all the headlines, the law firm Callahan and Blaine tried filing a class action law suit against 10 major olive oil producers on behalf of California restaurateurs and chefs. The law firm dropped the lawsuit once they did their own testing and found that the olive oils were in fact real. A federal judge since dismissed another class action lawsuit that cited the original UC Davis study. I also noticed that the UC Davis Olive Center added a disclaimer to the report since I made my initial video on this topic earlier in the year. Their disclaimer says that the results in this report are based on samples purchased from California retailers in 2010 and should not be used to characterize the quality or authenticity of olive oil currently available in California or elsewhere. We have layers of data to confirm that almost all extra virgin olive oil is in fact real olive oil. An independent peer-reviewed research paper published in the Journal of American Oil Chemist Society tested 88 main brand extra virgin olive oil samples selected right off of grocery store shelves in Washington, D.C. The paper found no confirmed adulteration in any of the samples that they tested. The North American Olive Oil Association has also sampled an average of 200 olive oils directly from grocery store shelves for the last 20 years. The olive oils are tested in independent labs certified by the International Olive Council. The NAOA's testing demonstrates that 98% of olive oil sold in U.S. retail outlets is authentic. Now you may be thinking, what about the big bad olive oil mafia that's cutting olive oil with seed oils? The truth is that this is a rarity today and is being caught if attempted. The olive oil industry is heavily inspected, regulated, and tested. What you probably don't know is that olive trees have an average lifespan of 500 years, produce three to four liters of extra virgin olive oil each, and are abundant in Spain, Italy, Turkey, Greece, Morocco, and Tunisia. While uncommon, what can happen with some extra virgin olive oils is that they are not as high quality or extra virgin as the label advertises. This can be the case when the extra virgin olive oil is produced by a large brand with olives from multiple countries and sold in plastic bottles. While the olive oils may not pass the taste test of experts, they are still real olive oil. When you get extra virgin olive oil, look for a single source in a dark glass bottle or a tin container. If you have the means, go for organic, which is labeled as biologic in Europe. To get the best quality, buy directly from small farms and producers. Depending on the country where the olive oil is sourced, the label will have a seal to verify the domestic authenticity. 